Good Lord. Being monitored closely by scientists at all the radiation detection stations. At this hour, they report the level of the mysterious radiation continues to increase steadily. So long as this situation remains, government spokesmen warn that dead bodies will continue to be transformed into the flesh-eating ghouls. All persons who die during this crisis, from whatever cause, will come back to life to seek human victims unless their bodies are first disposed of by cremation. Our news cameras have just returned from covering such a search and destroy operation against the ghouls, this one conducted by Sheriff Conan McClellan in Butler County, Pennsylvania. So now let's go to that film report. All law enforcement agencies and the military have been organized to search out and destroy the marauding ghouls. The Survival Command Center at the Pentagon has disclosed that a ghoul can be killed by a shot in the head or a heavy blow to the skull. Officials are quoted as explaining that since the brain of a ghoul has been activated by the radiation, the plan is kill the brain and you kill the ghoul. Do you anything from the supply wagon, Gus? Uh, no, we're all right. Hey, Gus, put that thing all the way in the fire. We don't want it getting up again. Chief, Chief McClellan, how's everything going? Oh, things aren't going too bad. Men are taking it pretty good. You want to get on the other side of the road over there? Chief, do you think we'll be able to defeat these things? Well, we killed 19 of them today right in this area. Those last three we caught trying to claw their way into an abandoned shed. They must have thought somebody was in there. There wasn't, though. We heard them making all kind of noise. We came over and beat them off, blasted them down. Things as good as your fish. Can I see you here? Yeah, OK. Chief, uh, if I were surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot them in the head. That's a sure way to kill them. If you don't, get yourself a club or a torch. Beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Well, Chief McClellan, how long do you think it will take you until you get the situation under control? Well, that's pretty hard to say. We don't know how many of them there are. We know when we find them, we can kill them. Are they slow moving, Chief? Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. Well, uh, in time, would you say you ought to be able to wrap this up in 24 hours? Well, we don't really know. We know we'll be into it most of the night, probably into the early morning. We're working our way toward Willard, and we'll team up with the National Guard over there, and then we'll be able to give a more definite view. Thank you very much, Chief McClellan. This is Bill Cardill, WIC TV 11 News. Thank you, Bill, for that report. Official spokesmen declined to speculate just how long it may take to kill off all the flesh eaters, so long as the heavy rain... Is the fuse box in the cellar? I don't know. I... It, it isn't the fuse. The power lines are down. Helen? I have to get that gun. Haven't you had enough? Well, two people are dead already on account of that guy. Take a look out that window, click it.
Gents, Al, you want to get about four or five men and a couple dogs? There's a house over here behind those trees. We want to go check it out. Right, you okay. here, Bill. Yeah, Chief, we're going to stay with it till we meet up with the National Guard. Where'd you get the coffee? One of the volunteers. You're doing all the work. You take it. Thank you. We should be wrapped up here about three or four more hours. We'll probably get into Willard then. I guess you can go over there and meet the National Guard. Nick, you and the rest of these men want to come with me? Well, Bill, check in the office, see what's happening. All right, Steve, tell them we're going to stay with it, and uh, everything appears to be under control. <laughs> Sure looks like it, Tom. You, drag that out of here and throw it on the fire. Nothing down here? All right, go ahead down and give him a hand. Let's go check out the house. Man. There's something in there. I heard a noise. All right, Vince, hit him in the head, right between the eyes. Good shot. Okay, he's dead. Let's go get him. That's another one for the fire. 